I know we are recording this a week earlier. Uh, this is a pre-recorded um, uh, session uh, because we are, want to do so many uh, episodes. Um, and I know uh, you are in the middle of moving and hopefully the borders will have opened up by now. So this is for next week um, and that could be uh, the 21st of April. Perhaps I might even throw it out earlier, okay? Yeah. So I hope you are fine uh, and um, thank you very much for the uh, other episode we've just done. Um, today uh, I would like to bring out something uh, specific, uh, uh, something uh, that is close to my heart and I think close to your heart as well because you are a witch besides a healer and you do help people with limitations. Limitations is a kinder word than a handicap, an unseen handicap like whiplash, uh, epilepsy, uh, um, inferiority complex, dyslexia, just to name a few, besides uh, diabetes or uh, heart problems or uh, ACDC or HDHD, those are all limitations that can hold us back or bring limitations or thresholds um, in our lives. I personally do have some limitations, uh, like I have a whiplash and um, uh, I am a life coach now, uh, or I am a qualified life coach and Actually, I'm also a life coach because I've experienced a lot of things throughout my life, like death, divorce, separation, uh, loss of jobs, of course. Uh, when we are younger, it is much easier to adjust than when you are older, uh, maturer, um, and especially nowadays when everything is uh, going rapidly and everything is cyber. I'm 61 and going on to 62. <laughs> and um, so we have to twig and tweet uh, everything like the young ones, but for us it takes a little bit slower. I know we are going to also um, uh, take a, a talk about some cards after this. But and just to let people know why we are doing this and what what has brought us together, it has actually uh, years ago. Um, I was going through a period of divorce, and that's when I got to know Wendy. And uh, I wasn't out in the open reading my cards like I do on YouTube now. And now I've got my own website and my biggest dream is to have my own practice. But um, we'll see. That's what I'm manifesting on, even if it is part time. But although I have unseen handicaps because people don't see me wearing a collar or my corset, uh, because you don't see more than just this from me. Um, you they don't see me walking around with the uh, rollator or the Zimmer frame on wheels uh, because distance is very difficult for me. But um, when I'm sitting here and I'm smiling away, they can't see my pain. So I am, I'm trying to project this onto people and let people know that there is a, a quality of life. Only if you are open to ask for help, open to accept your limitations, not a handicap, just limitations, because I believe we all go through a process uh, in and the process is accepting. There is also the beginning, denial, anger, and then denial, and then pushing yourself through to the limits, uh, wearing down, um, facing the facts that you have to rest more often than normal people, healthy people, and um, also the difficulty of, um, uh, you know, when if I wear a collar and people can see it, they say, ah, oh, poor lady, poor this, and they'll do everything. But there's no understanding for somebody that's not wearing a collar, but has the same complaints and issues that you cannot physically see. Yeah. So 
And other thing I would like to bring up in general is please people with this crisis, there will be people recovering from coronavirus or anything else for that matter. With the coronavirus, we have just heard that when people have been sick for three, four weeks and they have pulled through, if they are lucky enough to pull through, then they will have damaged lungs, damaged hearts, and there's a lot still not known. So please don't judge a book by its cover. Remember, read the book first, not the beginning, not the end, but the content. Don't judge a book by its cover. So don't judge a person by the color of his skin or uh, by the way they look. People might look intelligent with glasses, well, this is me without glasses. So I'm putting my intelligence back on. <laughs> so, Wendy, do you have any hidden secrets? Ja, dat heb ik. Ik heb. Um, yes, she has. Ik ben geboren met een uh, schedel, uh, een uh, fractuur, zo noemen ze dat dan. Oké, okay. she's born with a skull fracture. Ja, dat houdt dus in, ik ben geboren met uh, een open fontanel, hoort normaal gesproken voor te zijn, maar bij mij was het achteren. Well, the skull exists out of three bones, one on one side, one on the other side, and also this part, sorry, four, I've got my biology wrong, and the back. So you've got four parts of the, the skull. So when you are a baby and you're in the womb, it is intertwined like that. And then when you go through the birth canal, the brain sets out and it grows with you. And that's why it's open. Now we've got a, a, a triangle here. And if you are a mother and you've had a baby, then you know what I'm talking about. But within a year, this should close. And we call it in Holland a fontanelle. Now, I don't know what the word is in English, but mm. when there's also joints uh, from the skull at the back, and Wendy's got three holes that hasn't closed up. Yeah. Wat zeven mij, wat ik uh, 43. En uh, nou goed, ik heb het nog steeds. Er zit gewoon een houten laagje met haar. En ja, dat is het. Dat is, ik heb niet echt een bescherming. So, Wendy has still got open holes. The only protection she has is the skin and her hair. So she has to be careful that she doesn't do any exercises that could damage her skull or brain. And her birthday, she will be 40. 43. Uh, she'll be 43 on the 7th of May. We'll have to make a note of that. Maar ja, goed, dat is mijn onzichtbare beperking als het ware. Het is niet zichtbaar voor mensen, want je ziet het niet in het aangezicht. Maar uh, het is wel een ding om even heel goed op te letten. En door de loop van de jaren, ik heb er toch wel wat last van gehad. Ja. Uh, this is her unseen uh, handicap limitation um, and she has experienced uh, negativity and hardships with this disablement. Ja, dus sowieso, um, ik ben paranormaal begaafd, het is één doorgeefluik, maar het is sowieso extreem, is het, uh, ja, komt het op mij neer. Het is... Anders, andere verwerking, hersenverwerking. Um, she says this is also the incoming uh, part of the, the paranormal for her, other than with other people. Uh, usually you, you put the crown chakra here and with her she feels as if she's got three crown chakras. So she's getting a download, ex explosive downloads. Ja. Yeah. Dus extreem prikkelbaar en, en so ook mijn hand. Het is really uh, turning on all the time. It just feels as if going full time. And she finds it hard to close off. And also, um, that's true, with a, with a disability, when you lose a sense, one of the six senses, an other sense sharpens. Ja, klopt. Dat klopt. Ja. En ik heb ja, nog eigenlijk iets, dat heet dan prendert. Dat houdt dus in. 
zenuwgehoorbanen zijn bij mij wat, wat wijder, wat, wat groter dan normaal. Dus meer ah. kans op om. Uh, Wendy's also got Prenda, that's uh, an illness, I don't know what the English name is, but it means that the uh, hearing audio uh, canals are wider and wider open. Ja, dus meer kans op ontstekingen en uh, hersenvlies. She can have, she can have meningitis, catch meningitis much easier or other form of in infections. Goed. Dus dat zijn mijn onzichtbare handicaps. Ja. So that is one of some of her unseen handicaps limitations. And that, uh, when, that is what has motivated, I can say that because I know Wendy for so long. This is what has motivated Wendy to um, go to schools for children, for example, with learning difficulties because she, stand, she understands the other side of the coin. So this has made her an exceptional, like a social worker, but an alternative therapist. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the same reason why I became uh, a life coach, because I, I would love to help people with unseen um, handicaps, limitations, Whiplash was my drive, um, and I hope I can, um, this will motivate uh, Whiplash patients to contact me, it, because with Whiplash, um, my experience is when I went to a regular therapist, I won't mention any names, because uh, I don't want to get into legalities, but a regular um, therapist, um, they said, um, I don't feel as if I can be of uh, service to you. I don't feel as if I'm doing anything for you. But with whiplash, it is so important the, to have the acknowledgement that you have whiplash because it's unseen. So mm -hmm. when you acknowledge an issue or a situation, then you are 25%, 30% on the road to recovery because then you know that somebody understands and if an other person it's much easier to speak to a person that has the same issues as you um, so it's easier to talk to such a person because they understand what you are going through at that precise moment and Um, that person can give you a good listening ear and they can tell you uh, their experiences like what can I do I'm losing all my friends my marriage is breaking up it is mm -hmm. and what uh, regular um, therapists don't understand is that it is not me that is only suffering or the uh, the the what you call it Slachtoffer, um, the person, the slachtoffer, I forgot the English name, excuse me guys, uh, but I'm not the only victim, that's it, victim, but my partner is the victim, my children are the victims, because they have to live with me, they are emotionally entwined with me, and they feel powerless, um, because they can't help me. And that is already, you're halfway there when you have experienced that and when somebody else has just got whiplash or has whiplash but has nobody to talk to. And that's what I would love to do, to help people to understand that there is a beginning after an illness or an incident. Ja, ja. ja en ik zeg ook zo van, kijk, een beperking... Um, hoeft, geen, hoeft niet het einde te zijn. Een beperking kan soms ook het begin zijn van iets moois. Als je met elkaar ervoor gaat staan. En hè, zo is dat ook met mijn zoon Sven. Die um, nou ja, ook beperking heeft. Um, Wendy is saying. Um, it doesn't have to be an ending. You can also see it as a new beginning. Um, so long you stand together and that you are willing to to address the situation at hand, like my son Sven, Sven 
and I, I've seen Sven and I've spoken to Sven because he's got a Facebook page and he's a beautiful boy and Ivan as well. They're crazy kids, but I love them. And mm -hmm. thumbs up to both guys. Yeah, and Sven, he has uh, beperkingen. Hè? That's, uh, it's called Large Invisible Injunct Syndrome. And I um, can't um, even in Nederland say, his ears of his ears. Dus um, het de eer. gehoor, de eer, zeg maar. Het, um, normaal gesproken heeft het slakkenhuis drie of twee, eh, twee, tweeënhalf wending, wendingen. En van hij, hij heeft maar anderhalf wending. Ah, uh, right. The internal tunnel of the ear has got three turns. But he, Sven has only got uh, one and a half turns. And so his hearing is impaired. Ja, en ook hè, one ear is hij deaf, en de other ear is hij uh, half deaf. Oké. Okay. Well, he's a beautiful pretty... guy, like I said. Ja. Yeah. And he's a whiz kid on computers. Ja, yeah. en he is yeah, one eye, he is blind, en de other is, um, hoe noem je dat, slechtziend? Uh, Bijziend. Bijziend, ja. Yeah. Ja. Yeah. Well, I hope to see more of uh, Sven's work on Facebook and everybody um, go to Sven. I will put the Facebook page uh, underneath the video and say hi to Sven and give him a little bit of encouragement because he would love to get connected with you. I know he does play uh, games on the computer, so his mum does keep yeah. his mum does keep an eye on his Facebook page. Um, and he helps his mum also with her videos with editing. So he is a whiz kid, but his mum does keep eye on the internet because uh, uh, she will just delete or tell Swen uh, to delete anybody that is not friendly or not right. Okay, so if you need assistance with a listening ear, then contact me or Wendy. The information is below and we're going on to the Witch's Oracle again and we're going to do the full moon. A lot of people are very sensitive at full moons, uh, waning moons or new moons. Okay, full moon. Traditionally, the moon warns of deceit, confusion, self-deception, fluctuating moods and uncertainty. The cycles of the moon are important to magical workings and full moon is when magic is at its most potent power. Okay, or is most potently powerful. During a full moon, everything will be magnified both good and bad. It can be both viewed as a time of crisis as well as time of opportunity. The full moon is a symbolic of the height of power, the peak of clarity, fullness and or obtainment of desire. In a reading, the full moon lets you know that now is the time to hone in on that clarity and use it to your benefit. That which was once invisible or secret is coming to the surface and it is important uh, to now be aware of what, uh, what's been buried in the past. Pay attention to your dreams, your feelings and your hunches, your intuition in other words, at this time. Your psychic awareness, spirituality is now heightened. Use it to your advantage. The gemstone that you can use is the moonstone, the full moonstone. Moonstone is the classic gem for lunar energies. It dispels illusions, boosts psychic senses and connects you to the current of the divine feminine. Where a moonstone if where moonstone if you feel as if your spiritually power is compromised or truth is hard to find. The incantation affirmation for this card is I wish to see what was hidden before. 
the time is right to open that door. My power is strong and perce uh, perception is keen. Allow the fates to now intertwine. Beautiful cards. I love the moon. I've always been drawn to the moon. I love the moon too. So what is the meaning, the full moon for you, Wendy? Deze kaart is een hele magische, krachtige kaart. Een kaart hè, waar je negatieve, negativiteit weg mag laten stromen en positieve mag aanvaarden. This is a very magical, important, influential card that you can let go of the negative and uh, let the positive come in. Ja, um, met volle maan hè, kun je het negatieve uh, verbranden en het, je kan met het positieve samenwerken. Uh, with the negative, you can burn it away with the full moon and let in the positive. You can work together with the positive. Ja. Je kan de negatieve uh, weg verbranden als het ware en het positief opschrijven rond volle maan en dat gebruiken in een ritueel. You can uh, burn away the negative in a ritual and you can bring in the positive with the full moon that's what's working together okay thank you now we're going on to the uh, dracula monster the gargoyle the, the pagan god the pagan god okay the gargoyle these sometimes grotesque stone figures found clinging to buildings were most famous during the medieval period, but have also been found as far back as ancient Egypt, uh, Rome and Greece. Their two main purposes were to scare off evil and to divert rainwater, but there are some schools of thoughts that suggest that gargoyles are old pagan gods and creatures that were once worshipped in the holy places before those places were re-dedicated re, re to Christian churches and holy grounds. Um, the meaning of this card. To some gargoyles are predators. They are said to protect the place they are bound to. The gargoyles supposedly come to life during the dark hours, flying through the city and keep threats, uh, both physical and spiritual, away from their buildings. When the sun comes up, the gargoyles return to their roots, becoming inanimated stone once more. Witches have always sought out the gargoyle spirits for protection and the gargoyle card is the, in this reading is now serving as a warning that you have let your guard down lately and that protection needs to be put back in place. The crystal gemstone is the black tourmaline. Black tourmaline may be the most powerful stone for protection today. Use it to fortify your environment, environments and your energy field when you feel that you may have let down your guard. The incantation to this card or for this card is gargoyle, take flight and surround me with light that will drive negativity away be human or be sprite in the day or the night keep me safe i do ask every day Mooi. Ja. and do you use gargoyles have did you know that gargoyles existed ja ja zeker uh, het is een een, een heel gehoorde god die heeft verschillende varianten Die gebruik ik zeker in de hekserij, ja. 
Uh, yes, definitely, I do know this. This is a, uh, a horned god uh, because a lot of go uh, there's different gods with horns, and I do use this in the witchcraft. Ja, dit is een, ik noem dit een, een pagan god. En dit is uh, voor ons, hè, de wicca, de pagan, is het een belangrijk uh, iets. Want het is een beschermende, back to the basic. Oké, okay, Wendy, thank you. Ja, het is uh, van de basis. En het is beschermende, back to the basic, hè, de, de, terug naar je basis. Yes, your, I can understand your English, is good. Back to the basics, protecting God. Well ja. done. Ja, terug naar je eigen ik, maar ook het negatieve, de, het is een, een, een god, zeg maar, die het negatieve weert door stad en land, zo zeg ik altijd. Oké, okay, she says, that is, it's also back to yourself, back to your own basics, your spirituality. And he is also a god that protects cities and countries, or lands, landscapes. Oké, okay, for the last card for today, we have the old hag. Ja, de raven. Ja? De hag. Ja, de hag met de raven on his uh, shoulder. Ah, yes. It could be a crow, I don't know. But we'll yeah, see. I think we've, we've got, we do have the card, a raven and the crow in here as well. So, ah, uh, exciting. We've got some suspension here. <laughs> What it is, yes. The old hag. Okay. In folklore, a hag was an ugly old nightmare spirit, often seen as malevolent, malevolent in nature. But there are many varieties of hags. She's also depicted as a kind of fairy, na uh, nature spirit, or goddess who will shapeshift and appear in the form of a woman as with the crone that's a crone mm -hmm. she can either be helpful or malicious in many cases she is known to be a wise woman the meaning of the card is the old adage which uh, w w adage with age comes with them in the message of this card, as we grow, we learn, we mentally shipshaved into becoming the person we were destined to be. Those closest to you have been noticing the transformation in you in recent months, and you've been feeling the change as well. Embrace the new you. Don't be afraid to use the wisdom you have gained over time to reinvent yourself or to show yourself to others in a different light. The crystal gemstone is a holly stone. This is like a sort of like a white crystal. I don't know whether you can see it. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah. Holly stone. Water worn stones naturally pierced with holes are often called hagstones because they are shape, uh, shaped by the passage of time. They help you leverage your own time and experience in life to cultivate a deeper sense of wisdom. Uh, these humble stones are uh, protective um, and they help you petition the goddess of the crone for her aid. The incantation, information or mantra. Changes come and changes go. With age comes wisdom, this we know. I will use the wisdom to grow and thrive and once again to come alive. Woo, mystic. Mm, come on. Mooi. Ja, en deze kaart staat eigenlijk voor elke dag leren. This card represents learning every day. Ja, de wijsheid komt met de levenslessen en de tijd. Um, wisdom comes with time and 
age. Ja. En uiteindelijk word je degene die je worden wil. Um, at the end of the road, uh, you become what you wish to become. En de veranderingen die volgen, op, volgen zich op één. Dat gaat dan vanzelf. Uh, the changes just happen out by themselves. Er wordt ook gezegd bij deze kaart van wees jezelf, ongeacht wat iemand er ook van vindt. Het maakt niet uit. Wees jezelf. Um, there, what, uh, there also is being said, just be yourself. It doesn't matter what anybody else says. Just be yourself, love yourself. You are unique. Ja, en ook deze kaart van hey, jezelf uh, met je meegroeien, je komt er wel. Uh, dat wordt er aangeduid van het gaat goed komen, je groeit erin mee, de dingen komen op je af. Ja, je groeit erin yep. mee. Don't worry, you will grow and it will go, you will grow with it. Whatever you want, you will grow within the program. You'll get used to it. Just accept ja. it. Oké, okay. ja. thank you very much. We've done a hell of a lot of work. Great ja. stuff. Thank you, Wendy. Take care and I'll see you next week. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Take care. Sweet. God bless. Ciao, ciao. Okay.